Hey everybody, Chad from Six Blog. Today I just want to do a quick little video and talk about these Rhino laces. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Melinda from Rhino Laces sent me an email asking me if I'd be interested in doing a giveaway for my blog uh, for a pair of Rhino laces, and I said sure. Um, however, I also told her that before I did it, uh, I would really like to put my hands on a pair and just kind of check them out for myself. Um, so I went to the Rhino Laces site, and when I went to the site, uh, I noticed that there was a banner across the top of the screen, and for 10 minutes, it, it counted down for 10 minutes, uh, but for 10 minutes I could get half, or I could get 50% off of my entire order. Um, so by the time I went, uh, realized what it was, went and dug my shoes out, uh, and got back to the computer, I noticed that the timer was kind of counting down pretty good, so I needed to go ahead and place the order before the timer ran out. So in order to fulfill or fulfill my order within the time allotted, I just went ahead and picked a size uh, that sounded about maybe right, and I hit submit. Um, afterwards, I went ahead and pulled the shoestring out of my Innovate Rocklight 243 and measured it and realized that it was a little bit longer than what I should have ordered. Um, so I, I sent uh, Melinda an email back and uh, explained to her you know, what had happened, and she was happy enough to go ahead and correct the order for me, so I got the correct size. Uh, just so you know, these are the Innovate Rocklight 243s, and the length shoestring that I pulled out that comes stock with it uh, is 47 inches long. Um, initially, I think I ordered one that was around 62 inches or something like that. Um, however, uh, I realized that there was one that would be better, and it's the 52 inch, so that's what she changed it to. Um, also, since I have you know, since my rock lights are red, I went ahead and I went with the red color laces, and these actually have a reflective tracer in there, which should be pretty cool. Um, situations like at night, uh, when I have to take a midnight break, uh, my headlight should my headlight should light up the shoes pretty well because of the shoe strings now, uh, and make sure I know exactly where they are. Um, but anyway, uh, these are, like I said, these are the small, which is a 52 inch uh, length. Um, they offer these in four different colors, and um, there's a number of different lengths. You just have to measure and figure out what it is. Also, um, like I said, just kind of a word of advice. Um, if you've never been to the Rhino site, or Rhino Laces site, chances are um, chances are they still have that banner up there. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, of course, since my time ran out now, every time I go to the site, uh, it recognizes my IP address, and, and I don't have that opportunity anymore. So I, would, I can only assume that it's still there. Um, but if you do go to the site, I would just suggest going ahead and pre-measuring before you go to the site. Figure out what length that you need uh, so that you'll have plenty of time to place the order. Um, so anyway, I just want to take these out and uh, have a look at them real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to lace them up in my shoes. And I'll post a picture of what they look like afterwards. Now there's a couple of different things in here. Um, this is the packaging. Also, um, I didn't mention it. It's the most obvious thing. The thing that makes these uh, so cool is... They are the only unbreakable laces on the planet, according to Rhino Laces site. Um, according to this, these things can be burned, cut, sawed, chopped, or they can't be burned, cut, sawed, chopped, or destroyed. Um, and if they ever do break, they will replace them for free. Um, Justin and let's see, Justin and Adam are the founders of this, and they are, uh, as far as I understand, they are uh, firefighters, and so they really had a need for a strong shoelace that wouldn't break uh, right whenever you know they didn't need their shoelaces to break so this is what they come up with however uh, these seem like to be very good uh, options for people even like backpackers and stuff so inside the package uh, of course there is the laces I have two of these laces I have two laces and then I have these little uh, black pieces here which make locks. Uh, these things slide together like so. And you can use these as a lock if you prefer not to tie it. I'm not sure if I'll use those, but I'm going to definitely just check it out and see how they work out for me. Who knows, I may, I may not. Um, and then of course it comes with some instructions on how to, uh, to use the locks and uh, lace lock instructions, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, these are the Rhino laces. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be using them. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to lacing them up in my shoes and seeing what I think about them. I have a pair of Rocklight 315s that I had before the 243s. And one thing that I noticed is after a couple hundred miles, the shoe strings started coming apart uh, where they would lace through the shoe. Um, these haven't started doing it yet. I haven't put, uh, but 
a little over 100 miles on them yet, so they don't have a whole lot of use. But I can only assume that because of the other shoestrings, uh, that they'll eventually uh, come apart as well. Um, however, these should take care of that issue. And of course, too, uh, coming from a backpacker's perspective, um, these could have uh, multi-purpose uses. Um, because they are unbreakable, um, these could be used to secure things. Uh, if a strap or something breaks or something like that, uh, these could be used to, uh, to fix things. So anyway, that leads me into the giveaway. Uh, as I said, uh, Melinda at Rhino Laces offered to give one pair of these shoelaces away to somebody on my blog. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in the comment section below, here on my blog post, not anywhere else, not on Facebook or Twitter uh, or Instagram or anything like that, here on my blog, uh, if you'll leave a comment below um, telling me what do you think is the most interesting use, besides being used as shoelaces, that you could come up with uh, for these rhino laces. Um, what I'll do is uh, everybody can comment below what they think is the most interesting use for the laces. And after the contest is over, uh, I'll pick what I think is the most interesting choice. Um, and then once that's done, uh, I'll send that name over to Melinda at Rhino Laces along with the address, and they will get your laces shipped out to you. So, uh, if you think these are something that you might be interested in, be sure to leave a comment below. And guys, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.